basically I just wanted to help young female baseball players who um you know may struggle struggle with like you know working out or don't really know what to do to you know stay fit or to they don't have that like I don't know the devotion to work out to be as strong for when they get to high school you know I wanted to incorporate some workouts that I've done with my trainer and also I've you know these are these are the workouts that I've done with my girls who I coach so I wanted to put it in kind of like a nice little neat slideshow so if they wanted to just screenshot it they have it here and you know it would be on the website but uh so my first workout um basically it's legs and explosive work that's a big thing for for uh any for all baseball related stuff it's most important when it comes to throwing and running and all of the above so i put i do two circuits for every workout i that i have and it's all five rounds basically um unless it's like uh say like a my shoulder uh my my shoulder burnout which is like maybe 10 minutes of just non-stop working out and then at the bottom here I have um, a couple little inspirational things I say and I will explain certain workouts um, my second workout um, it's working on balance um, lateral movements uh, shuffling staying in your athletic base is really important so I want I uh, did two circuits again and hopefully that'll help with their balance of two of their pitchers I um, added the SL balance and the low shuffles and backward lunges to help with that. My third workout, um, cardio. I do this a lot with my trainer, only at four rounds this time, but it's nonstop. So he'll do like a timer and we have to do all four. So it's like, it's like in two circuits. So we do these four workouts in 10 minutes and say he has like a number. So we have to do it maybe eight times in 10 minutes. We have to do all that. And then like a couple minutes rest and then do the second circuit. And then after all that, kind of do like a little, you know, cool down. And then we do our abs, which is like 150, 200 reps of anything we want, basically. Uh, my fourth workout is the shoulder blast, which is killer. But I've done it since I was maybe 13. Just nonstop. I do it maybe twice a week, once a week, sometimes on the weekend. And it's just to help with, uh, you know, building up your shoulders so you can throw better, help with the rotator cuff. Um, I have the Y's, Y's, W's, and T's, which is also, it's like a smaller workout, but it helps strengthen your rotator cuff. And you just do it on the floor a couple of times. And I said, I can't read all of it right here, but um, I'm, I told them what they have to do and to all these workouts, they can just Google it. And it's like the first thing that pops up and uh, they can see the demonstration, but I put it in words if they can just figure it out like that. And pitching tips, this is a whole lot and I can't have the time to read it all, but um, I put my advice from my, from my experience from high school, uh, being that it's my fourth year, I kind of told them the rundown of how most, um, of the guys will act if you say if you pitch or you hit kind of giving my perspective and helping them because it, it'll probably be almost the same way so it just has given a little little uh I don't know lee leeway if they want once they go into high school and then I uh put a couple of things that my pitching coach told me from high school and then uh I worked with I forget his name uh what is it John John Wolf Josh Wolf and he uh he was a Yankee pitcher he was on the Yankees Yankees and he was a pitcher and I worked with them for a couple of years on pitching so I added a little bit of what he taught me onto that list and then drills uh because I practice five days a week in my high school we do the same um, uh, I want to make sure these girls know that they have to keep their uh, swing very short so I added a couple of drills with one hand bat and uh, swinging against the fence that's always a good one you know you don't even really have to be at a baseball field you can do that in like say by your house just on the wall do a couple swings make sure your uh, your swing is very short and then I gave them some advice of my experience with hitting and what to expect and also to um, kind of the mindset of guys when they're pitching towards you or to you basically 
and um, how to just, you know, you we have a mind game against them because they're already so eager because we're girls that they'll strike us out. So, you know, just us being there is a big factor of, you know, they'll mess up more. And then I gave a couple tips from a uh, from a couple of my, from a couple of my coaches that I've worked with, I had one coach who who's been, who's been working with me since I was thirteen. So a lot is a lot of all this information is from him, and it's just stuff I've always remembered over the years. And then a nice little believing yourself inspiration thing at the end of the slide, just that they need a little pickup. And I kind of just told them, you know, we believe in them and, you know, we're all so proud and, you know, whatever happens that they just need to keep fighting because, you know, there are thousands of us out there. It may not feel like it at times, but, you know, here. So that is it.